immediately I entered into the room, all eyes was on me. In my head, I'm like, I must really smell nice that this one everybody's looking at me. Like, I must really smell nice because I, I sprayed a lot of perfume before I left my room. Yeah. It felt like Graham should just open up and swallow me. I was so embarrassed. I've never been ridiculed this way before in my entire life. Like, what is this? Of all. Hey beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Mommy's blog by Jennifer. If you're seeing my face for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're an oldie, thank you for always seeing me back. Thank you for liking, thank you for staying tuned, thank you for subscribing. And if, that, and if you haven't done that, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? This is all about motherhood, lifestyle, and career. So I haven't done a sit down talk for a while and I thought to myself, I need to do one. And today we're doing a funny topic, like my most embarrassing moment, like my worst. Like I disgraced myself. I disgraced the whole black girls. I disgraced my nation. Like I disgraced every girl. Like I literally embarrassed myself publicly. It was that bad. Yeah. like. Up until then, I don't think I ever really had a most embarrassing moment. But it's so funny now because I now have one. And if you followed my Instagram back in the days, I did share this when it happened, um, I think, last year. So I really want to share it with you guys on YouTube, my worst embarrassing moment. Like, just thinking of it makes me cringe. So anyway welcome back to my channel so let's dig in if you're still here and you haven't subscribed please press the subscribe button so let's dive into my most embarrassing moment so i had my baby 2019 february yeah and then i went back to work in 2020 so immediately i went back to work in february 2020 i had to travel for work i think I went back to work and then by the fourth week I had to travel for work because my work involved a bit of traveling. So I traveled to Dublin and for some client meetings and for a bit of training. So, you know, with my colleagues, these are not my typical colleagues, but like my colleagues from that particular branch in Dublin. So I left my babies at home, daddy was doing daddy's daycare. And I went on this work trip. I, I was feeling alive. I was happy to be back at work. I was, you know, I was feeling good about it. And you know how um if you're having a training or if you have like client meetings what i normally do is if this is the hotel i'm booked in for that week or for that travel i tend to schedule everything to happen in that hotel i book my meetings and stuff so i don't really have to go far and then my colleagues will come around after work and we'll have like dinner and i'll network with colleagues in that town or city if there's any so anyway as usual i had my client meetings and then i had my like training sections and obviously um sometimes because i'm on training or i have meetings i don't have like a full-blown day schedule so sometimes i might have a training like from like um 9 a.m to like 11 11 and then i have like a client meeting between two to three so all those like between 11 and two i'll go back to my hotel room i'll relax i'll chill um and you know just wait to my next to my next itinerary like what i have to do next on this fateful day which i think was a thursday so my colleague is like what are you doing for dinner i'm like i really don't know i might just order something to the hotel and relax and but like no we, want, we all want to go for dinner we want to take you out so we'll come we'll come around around, around like 5 30 to the hotel and then we can all go grab something to eat i was like okay yeah that's fine that's cool so i finished my training section at about four and my colleague said um they're going to go for dinner we're going to go for dinner around 6 p.m i was like okay that's fine i have like two hours to kind of like go to my hotel room and do nothing so i got into my hotel room yeah obviously i'm trying to be comfortable yeah i literally turned on my laptop my personal laptop and um, went onto youtube because i'm stuck up for youtube videos i watch youtube videos on demand all the time turned on my laptop i went straight to youtube lay down on my bed took off my wig just relaxed like and then i put alarm for 5 45 to dress up and then go and meet my colleagues downstairs in the lobby of the hotel and then we can all go anyway to cut long story short 
I was I think I was watching a funny skit I was watching something on YouTube and I was so into it like my alarm rang for 5.45 I didn't even listen to it it was not until about 5.50 or 5.55 I think and I was like oh my god I need to meet these people downstairs I need to I need to hurry up I need to hurry up so I just quickly you know what wore my trousers wore my shirt grabbed my bag put in my phone and then kind of just quickly sprayed perfume carried my jacket because it was during the winter period and i went downstairs straight like sharp sharp so i went downstairs and i went to the lobby figured out they were not in the lobby and then i was like okay they might be waiting for me in the training room actually so i went upstairs straight to the training room and guess what so immediately i entered into the room all eyes was on me in my head i'm like i must really smell nice that this one everybody's looking at me like i must really smell nice because I, I sprayed a lot of perfume before i left my room and then and then a guy mentioned oh i'm waiting for two more people to join us and then we can go but then again everyone is looking at me and then one of my colleagues and then i go and sit down on my chair and then one of my colleagues comes to me and be like oh jennifer you you look a bit different this is a different star in my head i'm like what is this man talking about like what is he saying i don't understand what he's saying i just kind of laughed you know normal or you both thing i just kind of laughed i jiggled i'm like okay that's fine i was like yeah okay there's something in my and then everyone in the room was still looking at me and then something in my head just kind of i don't know i was sitting i was just like i just touched my head my dear fellow brethren my dear black girls i left my wig in the hotel room oh my god and if you see the cane rolls underneath like the cane rolls that i had out it's not even all those fresh cane rolls that is looking at like this cane roll was overdue to be taken out like this cane roll was dead because i already had an appointment for because i was going back home on sunday so i had an appointment for i think like a monday evening to kind of wash my hands so my dear this cane roll was dead i would not even open this cane roll for my husband to see or i would not even open this cane roll like it was just dead it was you know the one that all the hair are coming out like i'm just the curls is literally surviving through brushing my dear i just left my hotel room walked downstairs enter and this is a room full of white people i was the only black person in the room how can i forget my wig how can i forget my slick bone straight wig hey immediately i just touched my head like this and I realized that my I didn't have any wig, and because it was winter, I had a jacket on that had those hoodies. You know, what I just did. I just carried my jacket. Yeah, I just wore my jacket, and then I just put the hoodie on my head. I just carried my bag, and I just took steps back into my room. My dear, it felt like Graham should just open up and swallow me. I was so embarrassed. I've never been ridiculed this way before in my entire life. Like what is this of all things to forget jennifer you forgot your week like who were you thinking what youtube video were you really watching it's like guys i'm even talking about it it's not fun you know when you have an embarrassing moment you feel like the ground should just open up and swallow you it feels like your whole existence should not even exist anymore i just took my shame went to my room and my mind, one man was telling me don't go to dinner anymore just just cry it out and stay in this i was like no it's funny he messaged my husband spoke to him about it we laughed over it i just put on my wig back brushed it and i went downstairs to meet these people like nothing happened i just bought my shit by the time i came downstairs with you know my wig all and straight hair everyone was looking at me like hey what just happened what just happened but you kind of you know they know what happened but they kind of like of course you can't really say that because it's a bit weird uh they kind of like just smiled over it and then we went to dinner and guess what these people wanted to guess what these people asked me during dinner so when we finished eating we were laughing we were having some drinks and then one of my colleagues said oh let's talk about our most embarrassing moment i'm like excuse me i just had one why do i have to talk about my most embarrassing moment i think i think it was so funny that why would you bring that up you know i just had the most and worst embarrassing moment in my life and then we're at dinner you're telling me we should talk about our most or worst embarrassing moment like really really so anyway everyone took their turn in talking about their worst embarrassing moment like i said before up till then i didn't really have any 
was embarrassing moment that was my first one i don't know if these people or my colleagues i don't know if they were thinking that i would actually come out and tell them that look i forgot my wig in the hotel and like what you guys just saw now was my worst embarrassing moment no you're not gonna hear that from me if you want confirmation my dear you're not gonna hear that from me i just kind of cook something in my head so quick and then i told them about my worst embarrassing moment. i can't even remember why i told them because i've never really had one so i just cooked one story in my head and i said it because shame i could not voice out what just happened i could not recreate the scene it was so funny like like i just made up something in my head and i told them and then when i got back to my hotel room that evening and i put it up on, on instagram my like, guy i just had the worst embarrassment and i explained because obviously i know that most of my followers are black most of them are my friends so they can relate i was like guys i disgraced you in front of my colleagues the only black girl in the room how can i embarrass a whole black girl nation like that like so all those my so everybody has everybody now knows my secret that i forgot my wig and that the slick hair i've been rocking the whole week is a wig and it's not really just a wig the the wig was covering a mountain of disgrace on my head like guys it was embarrassing it was so embarrassing the only love and remedy i had was the colleague i was in dublin with were not my um, colleagues because remember i'm from the uk i'm from the uk branch so there i just kind of network with, with the people in in dublin um branch so it was a good thing that i wasn't going back to work with these same people otherwise my dear i would have buried my head in shame the good thing was whatever happened in dublin stays and dies there and i just quickly and then i went back to the uk i didn't hear anything about it i don't know if they gossiped me or they did not gossip me but my dear that was such an embarrassing moment and it was crazy like i like just thinking of it now i i don't even know like just thinking of it now i feel like the ground should just open up and swallow me like what was i thinking i didn't know if i even had like a neat cane roll that would have even been better like it would even like it would even make me feel better like i had a terrible cane like all the hairs from the camera was just they were out and about and i didn't even uh, lay the edges it, it was it was crazy it was it was crazy anyway that's my most and worst embarrassing moment i hope that in the future to come i don't have anything as embarrassing as that because i will not stand it but it's so funny now because now i have a worst or most embarrassing moment that i can tell people it was so funny when that thing happened but anyway let me know in the comment section your worst embarrassing moment like the one that when you think of it makes you cringe like yeah. let me know i'm so sorry i have to come up and apologize because i really disgraced the whole black girl nation like i'm sorry guys i disgraced you but i'm sharing this video with you guys so i can um i can what's the code what's the word what's the english word i can't remember but anyway i'm sharing this video with you people so that i can report myself by myself to you guys please forgive me oh it wasn't intentional it wasn't an intentional something i think the youtube video that i was watching got into my head and i forgot my my, my brand new bone straight hair wig and i went to go and disgrace people downstairs but anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed this video Please let me know if you if you like sit down videos with like this. Just let me know. Let me know if you like sit down videos like this, and I will do a little bit more. Like I said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit it. We're on our road to 1,000 1, subscribers. So every little count, just make sure you subscribe, support your girl, and let me know your worst embarrassing moment in the comment section below. I will be reading. I will be reading and I might even share it in my next season video the, the, the most embarrassing one in the comment section. So stay tuned guys and bye.